Hey guys, it's Rachel and I am finally back with another paper flower tutorial. So if you loved my mini rolled paper flowers, you will definitely love this one. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to make these beautiful paper peonies. They may look intimidating at first, but I promise you they are so fun and so easy to make. If you would like to create this paper peony yourself, the link to the SVG file will be linked down below in the description box, or you can just head over to my Etsy shop and you can find it there. All right, enough with the intro. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Starting in a new project in Cricut Design Space, I uploaded the largest paper peony SVG that will create a flower around 2 inches wide. I clicked make it and you can see that it fits the entire 12 by 12 mat. I selected my material and loaded the cardstock. Next, I will be making two medium-sized peonies that will be one and a half inches wide. I duplicated it and the trick I like to do is click the three dots in the top left corner, select move object, move one of them over to the other mat with the same size flower and rotate it so that both fit perfectly together. This is a great way to save paper. Lastly, I will be making four smaller sized peonies that will be one inch wide. After duplicating it, I did the same thing and moved the object one by one to the other sheet. Then, using my handy weeding tool, I carefully removed my cuts from the mats. Here again, I have the cuts that will make a two inch flower, one inch flower, and one and a half inch flower. All right, let's start off with the materials I'll be using. So to roll these flowers, I'm going to use this cushioning foam that I kept from a shipping package a while ago. It's soft and bouncy, which is perfect for what we need. I am also going to use a mouse pad that is just as soft and cushiony. This dual-ended ball tool is perfect for curling all the petals. I stumbled across this when I was looking for paper curling tools on Amazon and turns out this is actually used for clay molding and cake decorating. The pack I purchased is around $10 and it came with different size balls and it will be linked down below. But if you don't have these ball tools, you can use the end of a makeup brush or pen that has a smooth rounded end. My makeup brush shown here will be perfect to curl the smaller size petals. First, with the 2 inch flower cut, placing the paper on top of the cushion, I am starting with the petal in the center. I use the ball tool in circular motions to help shape the petal. It takes a good around 30 seconds to get a nice curl in. Then with my fingers, I help curl the petal inwards more. I repeat the same process with the next petal using both sides of the ball tool. I like using the end with a bigger ball because it covers more surface area. This is what the curled petal should look like, almost like a little seashell. The cushion underneath really helps the paper curl. This process definitely wouldn't work the same on the hard surface. When I get to the thinner petals towards the end, I roll the ball tool back and forth instead of in a circle. I can even use my makeup brush or a paper folding tool to curl these last several petals. Next, with the ball tool again, I will roll it along the entire bottom part and circle around. This will help reinforce the flower when we roll it. Then starting at the end, I am first rolling it around my tool. I roll it a few times, remove the tool, and continue rolling with my fingers. Try to keep your rolls as tight as possible. When you get to the larger petals, take your time rolling and overlapping the petals. Then, the circle piece at the end should fit nicely under the flower. If you have made rolled paper flowers before, this part should be familiar. I am releasing my grip a little bit to get the flower to loosen a bit. Adjust the petals to your liking and with a hot glue gun, add a good amount of glue to the circle piece and press firmly to the bottom of the flower. 
The outer part may be loose and not entirely glued down, but that's okay. A nice squeeze of the bud will get the flower to look not as blossom, if that's what you want, of course. For this flower, I'll show you another way to curl the petals using a contact lens case. This works perfectly when the petals are the same size as the lens container. I place one of the petals into the container and use the end of my makeup brush to do the same circling motion. You can see that it did a great job because the bottom of a contact lens case is usually curved. I am also using the mouse pad as a cushion this time just to show you how it works just as great. Then we get to rolling the flower. After rolling it up tightly, loosen your grip a little and let the flower loosen as well. This time I am using an art glue because I like the fine tip, but of course you could also use a glue gun. Lastly, for the smallest flower, I am repeating the whole process of curling, rolling, and gluing it all together. Also included with my SVG template are leaf cuts for each of the flowers. I have these four-sided leaves in two different designs and two designs of single leaves. All are sized perfectly to fit the bottom of the paper peonies. For the one inch peony, I am curling the four sided leaf inwards, adding a dollop of glue to the bottom of the flower and placing it on the leaf. For the one and a half inch peony, I am doing the same, curling with my paper folding tool and gluing it to the center of the leaf. For the two inch peony, I will be using the two single leaves. I curled them and glued them to the bottom of the flower. You can have the leaves curl upwards or downwards, whichever you prefer. And here we have the completed paper peonies. Each of us both done in the crown. A king and a queen royally bound. This last part is totally optional, but I wanted to see how these would look as a tiny bouquet. I had craft wire on hand and wrapped them with floral tape. I cut about 5 inches of wire and wrapped the green floral tape around at an angle. I stretched and pressed the tape firmly as I moved up. Then I simply ripped the tape and covered the end of the wire. I basically created little stems for the flowers. So to the bottoms of the flowers, I added a large dot of glue and stuck the stem right on. Make sure to hold it in place until the glue sets. Repeat to the rest of the flowers. I decided to throw in another one and a half inch peony into the mix and arrange them to what looked best to me. The wire stems allowed me to bend and turn the flowers to face outwards. When I liked the arrangement, I wrapped and twist the stems together. This next part I totally saw on TikTok but for a larger bouquet. Taking two square sheets of tissue paper, I folded them in a not-so-perfect accordion style. I put the two sheets together and scrunched them in the middle. I covered the bottom part of the stem and finished it off with a pretty bow using a chiffon ribbon. It's a little extra I know, but I really wanted to give that bouquet trend a try. These paper peonies still look amazing without the stems and without the leaves too. Rolled paper flowers are so easy to make that I wanted to put my own spin on it and make paper peonies into a rolled paper flower as well. I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. If you give this paper peony a try, please send me a photo, tag me on Instagram, leave it on my Etsy shop as a review, or message me directly on Instagram or Etsy. I would love to see it. If only we could leave picture reviews or picture comments on YouTube videos, that would be 
so cool. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next one very soon. Bye, guys.